And look, with that being said, these rich elitist people are really into some weird stuff, right? And they might even do some weird stuff in order to look, appear, and feel younger. But you don't have to because I personally use Ageless Glow. Ageless Glow is a natural-based ingredient anti-aging serum. I actually use it right before my makeup. It's my new favorite regimen ever in life. It smooths everything out. It reaffirms my skin and it rejuvenates it at the same time. You guys can get it at glowwithnatalie.com. And another additional thing that I really love about this company, Biotrust, that makes the serum is that they donate meals to hungry children all around the world. So they're socially responsible. It's definitely a product that I can get behind. You can get it at glowwithnatalie.com. Muchachos y muchachas. So, I completely did not think last week that I was going to walk in this week with an entirely new look, new furniture, or anything. I had a small idea over the weekend. It was just a small idea. I didn't think I was going to action anything. And I thought, you know, it would be kind of cool if, if, big if, I found a cheap armchair that was used and I could, you know, basically have this as a prop for like lounge type videos and, you know, just kind of have a new feel for my videos. And as I was perusing down the used listings, this baby popped up. And when I saw it, I was like, first of all, no way. Because I mean, the color scheme, right? I love the color scheme. Black and white is just my favorite aesthetic ever. It's been that way for a very long time. It's just easy to select. It's a simple color scheme. And so it's it grabbed my eye. And so when I looked at the price of this baby, I was like, nah, there's no way it's that price. There's no way it's that price. And it was, so done deal, they were mine. I asked the seller if he could deliver the same day. He said yes. So needless to say, this happened super duper duper fast. And thankfully I was able to get some accessories to adhere to this new look and setup. So I'm very excited about this new setup, as you can tell. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this as well. So what is the topic at hand to here today? So let's talk about it. Back in 2020, there was a series of photos that really went viral and only because it featured some really prominent people. Uh, Lady Gaga and Marina Abramovic, uh, they hit our radar because of some, you know, speculations that were on the internet about them. And uh, this series of photos happened at a dinner party and it seemed to be kind of weird because, you know, what did get circulated was of a naked lady. She was laying down in what seemed to be like a pool of like a thick, sticky substance of some sort. Lady Gaga, Marina Abramovic seemed to be like eating off of her or something like, I, I don't know. So anyway, that, yeah, that was weird, right? A lot of people found that very taboo, uh, including myself, by the way. And, you know, a part of this uh, or part of this event, there was also a photo that came out that was uh, additionally as controversial where there was a male model. He was hugging a tree. And uh, it was speculated that this male model was actually a missing and deleted person that was found a few days or actually went missing a few days uh, before the act this actual event. So with that being said, me personally, when I get interested and curious about these things, I know that someone else is curious about these things. So I thought that it would be worthwhile to make a video kind of giving you guys the backstory of this party event. You'll see what it is. And it definitely doesn't help once I found out the name of this event, uh, additionally, probably fueling this entire theory and speculation pool. So with that, stay right there. We're gonna go through it. All right, I got my handy dandy book of celebrity and secrets. Well, not really secrets because this is publicly <laughs> available information. And by the way, before I get started, I would like to thank Red Ink Boutique for sponsoring my look today. If you guys like what I'm wearing, which are some liquid uh, looking leather tights and they actually have felt lining inside. So they're ready for winter wear. They will keep you warm as well as this charcoal crop top, which is also additionally very 
comfy. You guys can get it at writingboutique.com and you guys can use code NATLY30 to get 30% off. That's right. I got you guys the friends and family discount. So let's begin. Let's talk about this weird event and it's going to get even weirder. So the name of this event definitely doesn't help <laughs> quench the thirst of the conspiracies that are out there because the name of the event is called Devil's Heaven, the 20th annual summer benefit. Yes, an, an annual event that <laughs> headlines the devil, right? So it says here straight from the website, this was held at the Watermill Center. And as you actually, like if you see this photo of the center, like it already kind of looks ominous. It looks very barren and, you know, just, yeah, it, it, it gives you a little bit of the creepies when you look at it. So this is the Watermill Center and it brought together, as they say, theater, art, fashion, design, and Society for Devil's Heaven, the 20th annual Watermill Center be Summer Benefit. And they brought, um, you know, participants from 25 different countries, including, you know, artists and exhibitionists to, you know, exhibit their installations. We'll talk about that in just a second. So it included cocktails, a silent auction, performances, art installations, dinner and dancing and a live auction. And like I stated, it included various artists from different walks of life. And <laughs> you'll get this. OK, so the cocktails, of course, you know, benefits like this, they always like have people and companies that will sponsor their their benefit. Uh, so this was sponsored by Bacardi USA. But get this, the wine was provided by Mutin Rothschild. So as you can imagine, many of the richest of the richest, most elitist of the elitist were at this benefit, right? Actually, when we go through some of this footage, you'll catch that you'll see some people like Winona Ryder, um, the actor from Spy Kids, I forget his name. Uh, and, you know, of course, Lady Gaga, Marina Abramovic. So this was like, uh, this was for the rich. Let's just say that. Let's take a look at some of this footage. So for starters, yes, parents did bring their children to this event. I'm not sure that it was communicated to them that there were some adultic themes like uh, deletion, we're gonna call it deletion and nudity, you know what I mean? Like there, these were some pretty heavy themes at this party. And I'm just speaking from experience, like someone who, as someone who grew up very sheltered and protected, my parents would have never brought me to an event like this. Like they would have closed my eyes so fast <laughs> if they, you know, if I can, you know, if I was in an environment like this, like I would have never, they would have never brought me to, I mean, this is for rich people anyway. We didn't grow up with money or anything like that. But I'm just saying like, my parents sheltered me from stuff like this where you couldn't see like naked people or anything like that because you were just too young to perceive and now that. But yeah, parents brought their kids to this event. And I'm just gonna be fair and say that I'm not quite sure if this was prevised before the parents brought their children. Uh, this is a 20th annual, so I would think that maybe the themes were already presented and available for adults to know that this was there, but parents still brought their kids. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I know that there was actually a photo with the, you know, Lady Gaga and there was like a child in the background. It seemed to be like it was somebody's child. Um, but yeah, just, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is a weird detail, but kids were there. Yeah, so the first exhibit is definitely already very weird. It's of a man who is harnessed, looks deleted. He looks defeated and has like some strange black substance that is dripping from the top down, has some boxing gloves on him. I don't know what this is and I don't know why people find this fascinating or awe striking, but apparently some people did. Yeah, and then there was like this person I don't know I don't know who if it was a chick or what but she like this person was like laid back in a dentist chair and some guy was like pouring a substance from a wine bottle down to the 
I don't know what it looks it looks a little bit torturous in my personal opinion and that's just my personal opinion um I, I just uh, again I don't see how this is astonishing to anybody it just seems a little bit sinister let's keep going So according to the Wall Street Journal, who like, I guess had an attendee or had some details of this party, these people who are dressed up in like white cape gowns and like whatever, like their that mask, their silver mask around their eyes, apparently they were like chirping and yelling out gibberish, which I guess like, again, I, I must be like the most suckiest like art interpreter ever in life. That's just weird. I mean, they look like Hunger Games AVOXs. If you guys remember that that movie where there was just like this uh, kind of unseen servant in the background who just like kind of stays in a very disciplined, you know, res reservation in the background. That's what they look like to me. But yeah, this was like the, the greeting committee for some exhibitions in this party. Yeah, apparently this guy, I, I, again, I don't know about the whole imagery and all that this guy with the tin foil type of mask and this but i don't know what to call this a bazoo or <laughs> i don't know what to call this but he had like this green staff and as he was banging on the thing allegedly this was like uh refreshing a fake twitter feed or something like that i mean is this not also like capital at the hunger games-esque type of stuff you know what i mean like just really avant-garde dressed like people I, I i don't know like it, it, and, and like the the things that they're interested in are just so bizarre and untoward why 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 is there a slender man in the <laughs> you know what i mean like, i don't know what this is like is this an angel of death or something like in the background is that slender man like what is that supposed to be with like this exhibition of the lady in chairs and water like i don't understand i don't know dude like like the, the 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 interest in this like just surpasses me it goes way over my head i don't know why like the devil and the sinister things are like the things of interest with you know some of these people so a little bit of info on this event so apparently uh this is robert wilson's event who it owns the watermill center i'm going to assume robert wilson's watermill center summer benefit and in which he charges 500 for cocktails and at least a thousand dollars for dinner and which the wall street journal you know says that people are willing to pay that amount of money and as you can see there it's pictured with uh alex soros and here's another thing i kind of want to clear up too because a, a lot of people thought that this was like megan markle in this photo but it's not it says it's hannah motley uh so just to clarify uh, look i'm not saying that any of this is like not weird because all of this is weird especially the theme and the details but the reason why i like make these videos too is to clarify because i want to get to the source i want to get to the concrete information not just speculations and theories like what is behind this who are the people that are here and i think that that's important and level-headed to understand now and and that makes my point the details in itself are already weird like we don't have to fabricate things on top of this to make it like you know this thing these things are already weird right so the devil's heaven you got Al alex soros and marina abramovic you've got lady gaga there so yeah it's it's already there and then here it mentions that scene with marina abramovic and lady gaga at the you know the the the, the lady the naked lady and the i don't know if it's molasses or honey or whatever that sticky substance substance is it says that uh the first stop it's called the sleeping beauty in the pool of molasses or honey an aide passed out three spoons so uh i guess the attendees were handed these spoons in order to taste this exhibit it says here that mr wilson who is the owner and i guess organizer of this event and 
the venue, I'm going to assume. It says, Mr. Wilson dipped into the side away from the body. Miss Abramovic took from, from between the artist's uh, chichas. We'll just call them chichas. And Lady Gaga put her spoon between her thighs thighs they taste the substance holding the spoon suggestively for the cameras and it does uh, mention that lady gaga bid sixty thousand dollars for a small pillow carved from a rock made by none other than her bestie marina abramovic okay so let's get to the photo that made a lot of controversy and it was a photo of the naked male model who was hugging a tree where you can see marina and lady gaga in the background kind of just like strolling through the forest and uh, what a lot of people thought about this photo was that this was a guy by the name of uh, ryan singleton who actually went missing you know in a different part because this this event was held in new york and where Ryan Singleton went missing and found deleted was in uh, California. So already it kind of, you know, already there, there's some distance between the theory. Now, Ryan Singleton was found in, uh, deleted in Baker, California on September 21st, 2013. And uh, a lot of people attributed this to be like some sort of like thing that, Marina and Lady Gaga did when, again, the event, the watermill event, the, all the weird stuff that went on happened in New York. And this guy was went missing and was found in California, right? So the model in the photo is actually a actor named Philip J. Lewis. And he's quoted by saying, I would like to go on record to say that I am the model in the photo and these accusations have zero, zero merit. And he continues saying that uh, situations like these, uh, you know, kind of attributing to the speculations and theories that went on about this photo are a testament to what's wrong with our society. Instead of focusing on the undermined death of a black man, we somehow made it into a cult thriller spectacle and just for comparison just so that way you guys will see it for yourself this is the actual model that was at the watermill event uh the actual model philip j lewis and compared to the victim who is ryan singleton that was found deleted in bakers california And on that, you know, I, I do feel that sometimes these ideas do kind of get a little unruly uh, because the thing is, like, like I said, the the facts and the concreteness in the event itself are already enough for it to be weird, right? So why do we have to put things on top of it to just sensationalize it, if that makes any sense? We don't have to do that because, again, the name of the, the the event the benefit was a devil's heaven okay you should already know people went there knowing they wanted to dress like the devil there was like you know ritualistic type of art exhibits and like torches everywhere and like kind of paganistic type stuff right so it was already going on these things were already enough to say like yo this event is kind of weird but to kind of theorize and and uh, mobilize these speculations i would have to agree like you know you we we don't want to fabricate things and make them just like the fact when they're not the fact right so i i kind of agree with that statement because it did go viral even to the point where admittingly i believed it i'm but I'm going to be honest with you. So with that being said, these are the details of that event. Devil's heaven in which, like I said, we don't have to fabricate extra details. It's already weird in itself. OK, these elitist people attending this dinner party slash benefit or whatever that are interested in the artful depictions of death and of uh t-o-r-t-u-r-e like i th again th that's not my thing like i know that i have like you know eccentric tastes and all that but there comes a limit where you actually are astonished and are entertained by 
uh, the dark, the, the dark, the dark, dark stuff, right? The dark, dark stuff where you're celebrating it, you're calling it your event, you actually enjoy and endure through exhibits that have people that seem to be depicted as this. I mean, it's just, all of that is just really weird. But anyway, guys, let me know. Did you know this about this event? Uh, have you seen this footage before? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And does this also, does it clear it up for you as well? Because, no pun intended, but the devil's in the details. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for loving this. Thank you so much for your support and loving this channel. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and tell somebody about this channel because I'm so excited to bring you guys more of this type of content. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.